Hey everyone, it's Thomas DeLauer here, and today I want to break down how exactly carbohydrates convert to fat in your body. Okay, we all hear that carbohydrates eventually turn to fat, but how come no one is talking about the actual process in which it happens inside your body? I want to break it down for you because it's actually quite simple, and a lot of people overcomplicate it. Here's essentially what is happening. When we consume carbohydrates, they're broken down into smaller particles that are called glucose. This is the usable form of energy within the body. So what our body doesn't end up using in the form of glucose for immediate energy needs, it stores in the liver and it stores in the muscles in the form of what is called glycogen. Once the immediate needs for energy are met and the muscle and the liver have stored up glycogen, then another process can occur, which is called de novo lipogenesis. And that de novo lipogenesis is the magic phrase here. What that means is the creation of fat from a non-fat particle. It's almost the magical assimilation and building of fat from something that is not fat. In this case, carbohydrates. You see, this de novo lipogenesis happens through a simple process. What happens is this glucose is converted into what are called free fatty acids. They're basically fat molecules that are floating around the bloodstream ready to be utilized. But these fat molecules bind with a glycerol molecule to form something that is called a triglyceride. And I'm sure you've heard of that before. Maybe your doctor has told you you need to get those numbers down. Maybe they've told you that you're at an unhealthy level of triglycerides. Basically, all that means is you've got three fatty acid molecules that are bound to a glycerol molecule. Well, the thing about these triglycerides is they're used a little bit differently within the body. You see, the thing is, actually creating these triglycerides and going through this process is rather inefficient for the body. And there's a few reasons that the body will start to upregulate this de novo lipogenesis, meaning starting to increase the amount of fat that is stored from carbohydrates. Okay, the first one is simply a poor diet and a lack of exercise over a period of time. We get our bodies conditioned to storing those carbohydrates as a source of fat. The next one is simply eating a high amount of carbs over a short period of time. You see, you've now conditioned your body to utilize those carbohydrates and what you don't use as immediate energy, your body gets very efficient at storing as triglycerides. Then the third reason that people end up storing a lot of carbohydrates as fat is because they end up reducing their fat content way too much in their diet. Usually when they're trying to do something good, you know, you're trying to reduce your calories so you go on maybe this low fat diet where you don't have a lot of fats but you have a higher amount of carbohydrates. Less than 10% of your dietary fats coming in through your food can make it more efficient for your body to store those carbohydrates as a form of fat. Now why does our body want to store carbohydrates as fat so bad? Well, it's simple. Fat is more calorically dense. The simple fact is that the body wants to store carbs as fat because later on it's going to yield more energy from that fat. It makes sense. If we're going to go through a time of survival or fathom, we actually need to have those fat molecules stored up in our body. So it makes perfect sense. But here's what's interesting. Some of the research is now suggesting that the fat that we deposit and the fat that we store that comes from carbohydrates being converted into fat is more dangerous than the fat that we just accumulate from consuming extra calories or consuming excess fat. Yes, quite literally, the fats that come from carbs and those triglycerides can be much, much worse inside the body. And a lot of times it has to do with the fact that this DNL causes the promotion of what is called palmitate. And palmitate is extremely inflammatory and has been linked to a lot of diseases. So not only are we looking at a worse kind of body fat that's hard to get rid of, but we're looking at an inflammatory marker as well. We're looking at something that can trigger more inflammation. Now, last but not least, triglycerides are hard to transport through the blood. So they end up binding with proteins in order to be transported, and this is where you get lipoproteins or high levels of bad cholesterol. So now you can see the simple facts. Excess carbohydrates that convert to fat not only are more difficult to get rid of, but they are also worse when it comes to increasing your cholesterol levels, and it's also worse when it comes down to increasing inflammation within the body. So there you have it, the simple science of why carbs convert to fat and how that really ends up working inside your body so that you know that you can start breaking away from the usual high carb, low fat diet, and maybe start indoctrinating a little bit more of those fats into your diet. So as always, keep it locked in here on my videos. And if you ever want more videos and more topics and more stuff emailed to you straight away, make sure you visit and make sure you sign up for my newsletter so that you never miss a beat. I will see you in the next video.